All right, so let's say you're debating, should I get a custom offshore fishing rod or should I get something from the factory? I know you got your opinions, gentlemen. Well, we're gonna talk about that right now. We're gonna be honest with you. What's cool is we've got the man himself, Jimmy Hillsman of Oceans East. We're right here in Naxa, North Carolina at their new location, which is really exciting at the Oregon Inlet Fishing Center. Of course, we've got the professor. And so let's just break this down. Let's have an honest conversation about it, shall we? Because this is something that a lot of people ask about. A lot of people are searching. You, of course, sell both. Yep. And anybody that's watching this, anything we talk about, we can send anywhere in the country if you want to order from this guy. So if somebody said to you, what's the arguments to go factory, Jimmy, to get a factory rod instead of going custom? What's the arguments? Well, it is nice they can come out of the store grab exactly what they want and head out the door. It's quick and easy. They know it's there, you know, like the Shimano Talus. They can grab it, they know what it's gonna look like. You know, with custom rods on the other hand, we do stock some custom colors, three different custom colors, but a lot of times the custom stuff, the rod builders gonna have to make it. Yeah, and that in could the take time. It, it varies. Uh, this year has been around three weeks. But some years, you know, during the COVID stretch, there was six, eight weeks. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so guys are backed up. Right. So, you know, that is a difference. Um, but sometimes it's worth the wait. You know, get match your colors. You want, say, to upgrade your guides to a different guide to, you know, to, uh, you know, maybe some Winthrop stuff from AFCO. So there, there's some different advantages on that too. Yeah. So, and we're going to get to these advantages. I think it's important to look at it. One of the things too, that especially for those that, might not be as, let's say, experienced. It might be just beginning, um, or they, you know, they they don't want to break the bank. Is there can be a significant price difference if they go factory oh, yeah. versus if they go custom? Yeah. Because most customs, let's just look at offshore for a second. Yeah. Okay, most custom rods are going to be in that well, like what range and up in terms of pricing. And I know there's the big on the, on the offshore here. stuff. Yeah, probably from a three hundred dollar range, you know, on up to thousand dollars. I mean, for one thirty class rod yes. um, with roller guides. I mean, you're looking yeah, at we thousand, know that rough, well, roughly a thousand dollars now. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So so it, so for that person that is wanting factory, that that range for the factory that you see for offshore rods, and yeah. you can go lowest to highest here yeah. based on what you see the market at is what. I mean, you know, for the cheaper, like a Bill Fisher, cheaper and I mean, $100. Yeah. And then you can go one up. Most of the, um, you know, the factory stuff, $500 range might be the top tier. Maybe maybe an 80 rod like this would be more expensive, but um, a lot cheaper. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And so do they make factory or bluefin? They do. Shimano has, I believe it's in the same Talus series. They have an 80 class rod. It's yeah. a, that's about, but it's, you would be hesitant, but, Professor, but for to me, use but something for me, for, for I'm with you. But pounds. for me, if somebody asked, customer came in and asked, I'd push them to to our custom any rod. Yeah, at that point, you should probably use a custom. Yeah. So really, it's about I can get it immediately, and I can potentially, if I want to, I can spend less money. less money. Yeah. Okay, so those are the benefits of going that factory rod. Yeah. Now, in terms of the benefits of custom, let's start with you here, Professor, on, on this one. Obviously, you know. We're, you know, we've got custom rods on Speechless. Talk about that. You're pretty uh, particular about how things look and just like, yeah, so tell it's us. like a mold of match and the boat name to be on them, you know, and we don't have all the same color reels, but we're working towards making all of them match. You know, we get a new one where we're all, we're getting silver ones. And it's just, I like aesthetics. You know what I mean? I can't tell you how many people when they get on the boat, they're like, everything is so clean. The rods look so nice. You know what I mean? And that means that even if you're not the greatest of fishermen, people get on your boats, they see that. How well you take care of your stuff, yeah. how well your equipment looks. House of water. Yeah, that's, yeah. Big. that's, that's big. That's big, my opinion. Yeah, and somebody that was, you know, you were made for 15 years right here at the fishing center. I mean, you've experienced that as well. Now, you have a, your finger on the pulse of the trends of what's going on out there. When it gets in that $300 plus dollar range for offshore fishing rods, do you find more people go uh, factory or more people go custom at that point? Yeah, it custom. Once the prices get very, very close, yeah, people go the custom route and get their boat name on there, change the colors, and then they can get, get a different roller tip if they want it. You know, some of the, the stock rides that don't have 
as big a roller tip as I would like. So you can you can you can customize it a lot. Yeah. And just for a, a really a small amount of money on, on most cases. So a lot of people do, if they're in that three hundred dollar range and thinking about it, they'll bump up just a little bit more to have something really nice. Has the custom market grown over the years? Are there more offers or suppliers? of custom rods than there were 10 years ago? I think so. I mean, there's a lot of rod builders out there that are, yeah. that are doing custom rods. Um, are they all good? I, I can't say <laughs> right, that. Sir, you know, sir. There's a few that I think are, you know, a lot better than the rest. Um, you know, one of the guys that you deal with is, and then, and then our guy, I yeah. believe, is really good too. So, yeah. on, you know, I, I hate to send somebody out there and just say, oh yeah, find this random yeah. rod builder and get a custom rod done because there's a lot of mistakes that rod builders can, can do in making a rod. And you'll have tons and tons of issues and it'll be a nightmare for you but between your guy and my guy i feel like it, it, it's it's safe you know and if we ever have an issue at our shop you know i'll immediately get it fixed or hand them another rod you know um there's not a problem i know your guys just the same way yeah. in that yeah and one thing i've noticed too is and i could be wrong you could correct me but it used to be you just saw custom rods on larger charter boats you know what i mean but now you see a lot of smaller boats that have custom rods like center consoles and stuff like that i mean just the whole spread of them so i think custom rods have got a lot more popular oh, yeah i mean yeah. with us from the spencer the spencer you know boats um you know we supply those guys and then we supply just as many outboards now with custom rods as we do the, the big spencer boats. so it's it's now full circle the, the people that want you know stuff matching like you do and like i do um, and customize, yeah. Well, that was certainly helpful and hopefully it was helpful to you. And hopefully now that helps you with this debate of, should I get custom? Should I get factory? You know, you've got the different considerations. Hopefully you feel like this was an honest conversation. Make sure you leave your thoughts as well in the comment section. We'd love to hear it. If you're looking for any type of rod, this guy can absolutely help you out. Oceans East, right here in Nags Head, North Carolina. Make sure you come see the new facility. It's bigger than the other one. They got lots of stuff. And of course, if you're gonna be fishing out of here from the great Oregon Fishing Center with all these wonderful charters, you're probably gonna come through here. They got a snack bar. I mean, they got like a restaurant, they got a bar bar. It's like all types of cool stuff. It's some of the best charter boat captains here in the world. In the world. It's just yeah. out of this board. Yeah, yeah, this is a special place to be. You can feel the energy in the air and they're all getting ready to come in here in just a few minutes, as a matter of fact. So we're gonna call this a day. We hope that you enjoyed this and we hope that you enjoy all the videos that we're doing with Jimmy Hillsman. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and until the next time, everyone, stay salty.